Every time I bring these stuffed mushrooms to a holiday party, they disappear fast. They are the perfect cheesy mushroom bite with hints of garlic, onion, fresh herbs, and crunchy pecans, and then baked until soft and golden. Basically, they are the perfect savory vegetarian appetizer, and oh so good. They're one of my personal favorite party appetizers, and I think they're gonna become one of yours as well. So let me show you how to make them. To get started, preheat your oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit and oil a baking sheet with a little bit of olive oil or avocado oil. I just drizzle it out and then use a paper towel to make sure that the entire sheet pan is coated. When it comes to the mushrooms for this recipe, I recommend white button mushrooms or cremini mushrooms, which are also known as baby bellas. Baby bellas are what I'm using today and you'll need 20 of them. Remove the stem from the mushroom by just gently pushing it sideways and it should pop out fairly easily. If it's sort of snug and not wanting to pop out, push it to one side and then to the opposite side and that usually does the trick. But make sure that you save the stem as we're gonna chop it up and use it in the filling here shortly. So you can just make a pile of those stems off to the side. When you're shopping for mushrooms, also choose ones that are on the smaller rather than larger side. This allows you and your guests to pop an entire mushroom in your mouth without having to bite it in half and potentially letting some of that filling slip out. And trust me, they're just easier and less messy to eat if you can pop the whole thing in your mouth, so smaller is better. Use a chef's knife to roughly chop up the stems into small little pieces and then place them in a bowl so that you can transfer them over to the stove here in a sec. Next, finely dice half of a medium onion. After I've chopped it, I always run my knife through it a couple of times just to make sure that the pieces are small enough. Remember that the onion and mushroom are going to be sauteed and then stuffed back inside those little mushroom caps, so you don't want it too chunky. And once that's done, place it in another bowl. For garlicky goodness in these stuffed mushrooms, you'll need two garlic cloves. And right now, you can just bash them with the side of your knife to help remove the skins, as you'll mince them straight over the pan. And with those three ingredients, you can now take everything over to the stove. Heat a pan on medium heat and add two tablespoons of butter. Once it's sizzling and the bottom of the pan is coated, toss in the chopped mushroom stems and stir it together. Saute the chopped mushrooms for about five minutes or until most of the moisture has been removed. If you've never cooked with mushrooms before, they release a significant amount of liquid when cooked and you don't want watery filling, so it's best to get rid of that moisture now. And after about five minutes, the sauteed mushrooms will have shrunk down in size and be more golden in color. Add the diced onion to the pan, along with those two garlic cloves, which you can just mince right over the pan, and then add half a teaspoon of kosher salt and a quarter teaspoon of ground black pepper. Give that a stir for another one to two minutes or until the onion has started to soften a bit, and then transfer the mixture to a mixing bowl. You'll wanna let this cool for five to 10 minutes in the bowl so that it doesn't immediately melt the cheese. But that's perfect as you now have five to 10 minutes to prep the remaining ingredients and that includes grating a third cup of fresh Parmesan. You can also use Pecorino Romano, Gruyere, or another hard cheese, so feel free to use your favorite. I have a little bit more than a third cup of cheese today, but that's fine as a few tablespoons always end up in my mouth as I'm making the recipe. Next, you'll wanna chop a third cup of whole pecans. Most stuffed mushroom recipes use breadcrumbs like panko in the filling, but to make these gluten-free stuffed mushrooms, I've omitted the breadcrumbs and swapped in chopped pecans. I think it actually adds so much more flavor to the recipe, and the end result is that these stuffed mushrooms taste cheesy and nutty rather than bready, and I think that's a good thing. So once the nuts are finely chopped, add them to a bowl. The last ingredient is fresh parsley, and you'll need a quarter cup of chopped parsley. Fresh herbs improve the flavor of every recipe they're added to, and it's no different with these stuffed mushrooms. Plus, the parsley adds little pops of green, which you know I love. And once that's all chopped up, add it to another bowl. Now, before we go ahead and mix everything together, take a little bit, like a tablespoon or so, of the pecans and Parmesan, and set those aside as we'll sprinkle those on at the end as topping. I also like to save a little bit of the parsley and sprinkle that over the plate before serving. All right, it's time to mix together the filling, and now that the filling has cooled a bit, you can add four ounces of cream cheese, along with the grated Parmesan, chopped pecans, and chopped parsley. 
Then use a large spoon to stir everything together. You might have to use the back of the spoon to sort of mush the cream cheese at the beginning until it all starts to blend together, but when it's well mixed, it should look like this. And now you can stuff the mushrooms. Take just a small spoonful of the filling and fill up the mushroom caps, then place them on the baking sheet. I recommend not overfilling the mushrooms at first, just to make sure that you have enough filling to go around. And if you have extra filling after they're all full, you can just pile a little bit more on top. And I found that the amount of filling you have often depends on how big your mushroom stems were to begin with. Once the mushrooms are all filled and on the baking sheet, you can add just a tiny sprinkle of that Parmesan cheese you reserved to the tops of each mushroom, and then follow that with a little extra sprinkle of chopped pecans. Pop the stuffed mushrooms in the oven for about 20 to 25 minutes, or until the mushroom caps have softened and the tops look lightly golden. Your kitchen is going to smell absolutely amazing while these babies are baking, and once you take them out of the oven, you're gonna wanna dive right into them. So enjoy a couple of stuffed mushrooms, but don't forget to save some for your guests. Be forewarned that they are highly addictive and you may accidentally eat a few more than you had planned if you're not careful. As I mentioned in the intro, these little bite-sized stuffed mushrooms are always a hit at parties, especially around the holidays like Thanksgiving and Christmas. So I often make a double batch just to make sure that I have enough. After you plate them up, sprinkle a little extra chopped parsley on top for those fresh and festive vibes, then enjoy. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and if you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up, share it with your family and friends, and I will see you again in the next video.